And um, it's very controversial mm -hmm. because of the topic itself, even a, even a slight change in the minimum wage, like say it goes up from 10 to 11 bucks, the wage can affect you even in big things like the amount of food you have on the table. According to the business journal serving Fresno and the Central San Joaquin Valley, a small restaurant called Peace Public House got closed down because of the minimum wage raise. It only got raised from nine to 10 bucks. And this happened, I believe, a year ago. So quite recent. And the raise the symbol probably even devastated and changed the lives of those restaurant employees and their families. Today, all of you will just see the tip of the iceberg of the minimum wage effects. I'm going to inform about the pros and the cons of raising the minimum wage, and in just a bit, actually raising up to $15 per hour. Enjoy the walk they created. Anyways, according <laughs> to the American Journal of Public Health, a group of researchers found that a raise the minimum wage results in a decrease of flow, weight burst, and a decrease in post neonatal mortality. Basically, post neonatal mortality is basically um, the amount of babies that died after the first year that they're born. And that will actually decrease when they raise the minimum wage. And my theory of that is that um, when minimum wage is raised, parents won't have to work as much and they can spend more time with their babies. That's just my guess. Anyways, if all the states actually raise their minimum wage, there would be a bunch of healthier babies being born without being underweight or having post neonic adult mortality. Honestly, these are really the only pros I could find for raising minimum wage. Now let's move on to the cons. And trust me, there's actually a truck though. Congress wanted to pass a bill increasing the, um, the minimum wage about 10%. And this happened back in the day, back in like 1999. It's still relevant because history repeats itself. According to human events, a raise of minimum wage will lead to a major loss of jobs for teenagers. Which, some of, us, some of us here are teenagers, so of course that affects us. Going to college and stuff, paying for college bills. Another con, USA Today explained that how higher wages take away jobs and high prices of goods. However, with lower wages, bosses can hire more workers. And with a low minimum wage, skilled workers would actually want to go to college and have an incentive of of producing or requiring good skills to work higher paid jobs. More cons. According to the Journal of Food Service Business Research, in order to um, compensate for a higher minimum wage, prices for any restaurant really would have to increase between 4 and 25 percent, and or product size would have to be scaled back between 12 and 70 percent. Basically, inflation would happen. Okay, I'm gonna have a simple job analogy of this for the Krusty Krab. Let's say that they have like a ten dollar minimum wage right now. It's how it is right now, I guess. And um, twenty minutes later, the minimum wage gets raised to fifteen dollars per hour. Then Mr. Krab is freaking out because he's a cheap bastard and he doesn't want to pay them fifteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> he's all mad, and then he has to, well, he came up to a conclusion that he has to um, fire one of them. So he chose to fire Scooter because he sucks at working. So yeah. Since he worked the cashier, SpongeBob now has to work more hours to cashier and be a fly pick at the same time, which is crazy. SpongeBob's not very happy about that. This is him right here now. <laughs> okay, jokes aside, I'm not gonna make a joke about this because I think it's pretty serious. There are plenty of people out there that want to raise the minimum wage to the ridiculous amount of fifteen dollars an hour, which is almost the same as what paramedics make. They make only sixteen bucks an hour. And everyone can do this. Everyone can flip a burger and make one. You can all agree that, right? Can you guys save a life? Nope. Not exactly. They shouldn't be getting paid as much as paramedics who save lives every day. Conclusion. We went over all the pros and cons with the minimum wage raise and the fact that unskilled workers should not be getting paid anywhere near where paramedics get paid. Again, today, all of you just saw the tip of the iceberg of the minimum wage crisis. At the end of the day, the slightest increase in the minimum wage can truly change your lifestyle and it can truly change who you are. And I'm done. <laughs>